Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. I know I always do Poshmark sales, but I know a lot of you have been clamoring for what did I sell this week on Amazon? So I'm gonna give you a full week, Sunday through Saturday of sales of things that I sold on Amazon.com. All right, you ready to go? Uh, as you can see right here, I have 44 separate orders. And if you look, it uh, it is showing from March 1st through March 7th. So that is a Sunday to a Saturday. So let's see exactly what we sold and how much it all sold for. So my first sale on the 1st of March was this Maybelline Lipstick Limited Edition. As you can see right here, it sold for $4.98. I sold one of them. It looks like this. And then the next item that I sold is a, um, a Mission Men's Vapor Active Amplified Morona Long Sleeve Shirt. Um, XXL. Uh, it's sold for $10.50. Now I'm giving you just the sales numbers. I'm not going to deduct all the fees out of that, but it kind of gives you an idea in one week on Amazon how much you can move. Now remember, I sent all of this into the FBA warehouse, so I will not, I did not ship any of these except for the one time that I batched them out and shipped them as a large lot. So this is really, really nice to move a lot of products and not have to do a ton of work. So here is that Missions Men's Vapor Active shirt that I sold. Then and the next item I sold for $15.95. It's a Sephir Boys Prodigy Youth NCAA Snapback Hat. If you guys remember, I opened a whole two boxes, I think, of Via Trading licensed hats. And this was one of them, and it sold for really well. Then the next item I have, uh, I sold for $37.64, this beautiful dress uh, that I believe that I got out of also a Via Trading, I think it was a Macy's box or an HE box. So that sold really well, um, and it's going for various prices right now. Um, and then I sold for $17.69, Raise the Stakes Apron. So from Overwatch, that one was a fun one. Then my next sale was another hat for $18.99, um, an NCAA Zephyr UNLV Rebels Men's Snapback Hat Adjustable Black uh, and Red. So that's a cool looking hat itself. Then next for $17.99, I sold another hat. So top of the world NCAA Relax Fit Adjustable Team Color Hat right here for the Baylor Bears is what that team is for. Then uh, for $9.99, I sold uh, this set of Lunchable, kind of lunch maker, um, kind of a Tupperware set. Not Tupperware, but Fit and Fresh Lunch on the Go set, green in color. Then uh, I sold for $4.98. I sold me some poop. Yes, that's right. I'm selling poop on Amazon. You can make money selling poop. Of course, it's not real poop. It's putty. But I just wanted to say I sold poop on Amazon because it's fun to say. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, the next um, item ended up being one of these here. And it... Uh, uh, the reason why it showed zero is because it actually was an item that was returned, whether the buyer didn't want it or not. But as you can see right there, it is zero. And then same thing with these here. These actually got returned to me, and so I ended up listing them on a different platform. So whether they didn't fit or what, um, they got returned nonetheless. All right, then I sold... So those two items I'm not including in my listings uh, for totals for the sales for the week. Then I sold for $17 this really cool Nickelodeon Paw Patrol Mighty Twins 2-pack. So that's a really neat, fun toy that sold really fast. Then you have seen me uh, open up luggage, and here is one piece that sold for $74.99, a DiGiuno Compact Hardside 20-inch carry-on luggage with a laptop pocket in the back. So this was a fun one to sell. I love seeing $74 go into my account. All right, then for $29.99, I sold me a pair of Charter Cub Lexington straight leg jeans. Then after that, for $15.98, a really cute styling company, petite embroidered slim leg ankle jeans with some fun detailing there. Then for $4.98, Yes, I sold some more poop. 
I'm so excited every time I sell something ridiculous like that. Everybody will buy that. All right, $12.99 is what I earned on this pair of girls' leggings. Now, I would have put this on Poshmark because it's a clothing item, but no way would I have gotten $12.99 out of it. So um, it definitely helps to put certain things on Amazon. They're going to sell much better. I don't sell kids' clothes very well on Poshmark. Women's clothes sells great, but kids' clothes, not so much. Alrighty, then for $2.74, which is kind of the bottom of the barrel that I ever want to sit on Amazon because of the fees, I sold this emoticon sugar bombs kind of bathroom set for kids. Then we sold for $19.99 this Hatley Kids Boy Classic Pickup Trucks basically pajama set. Really cute. It was brand new. Then for $9.50, I sold a pair of slippers. No way could I get $9.50 for these slippers, I think, on any other platform. So they sold very fast and very well on Amazon. Then we sold some, uh, for $14.50, some Super Mario slippers. They're kids' slippers again, so no way would I have gotten $14 off Poshmark off of a kid's item. So I was really excited to sell that for that price. Then we sold uh, for $14.99 St. Louis Cardinal, basically um, AirPods holders. So the little holder for your earbuds there. So that sold really, really well. Uh, then we sold, oh, I don't know if you guys remember me um, listing these, but these were $7.50. We sold a bunch of these tape runners made for like crafts and stuff like that. So I sold a bunch of them and you'll see multiples and they all sold for the $7.59. So I sold one of those. Um, then for $34.99, I sold uh, a magnetic strip reader. Believe it or not, this little piece here is what I sold. And then of course I sold, um, if you look right here, one, two, three more of those tape dispensers for $7.57. Then, of course, for $4.98, I sold more poop. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is getting to be ridiculous. All right. Then I, for $11.95, I sold this these set of fun toys from Star Wars Resistance Animated Series. Uh, Jarek Yeager, Yeager and Bucket is the name of that robot. Then uh, I sold another Scotch Tape. Um, dispenser. Then I, for $16.90, I sold a Michigan hat. So I am a Michigan fan because I'm from Michigan. And I, w I was, I'm a University of Michigan fan, not a Michigan State fan. Sorry for those of you who are. Then next I sold um, another one of these figurines for the same price as before. So $11.95. Then for $12.48, I sold this cute Mickey onesie set. Isn't it adorable? I actually bought these from Walmart for, I think, um, three or four dollars, maybe? Yeah, three or four dollars. So I did really well selling it at $12.48. Then for $68.99, I sold a shoe, a Callaway Men's Highland Golf shoe. That was the difference. It's not just a plain shoe, it's a golf shoe. So um, that was a great price that I was able to get for those. Then for $35.99, I sold these pair of Capri Jeans, Styling Company. Uh, sold some more poop. Oh, this was my biggie right here. For $329, I sold this Ultimate Lightning McQueen Sphero. And if you guys remember, um, I unboxed it, and I was a little discouraged with the box that I got from my Macari seller. And sadly, I kind of ended the video with like, oh, I don't think I'm going to make very much money, but I did not scan this item. Actually, it didn't have a scannable barcode. So I ended up looking it up with the title on the next video, and I realized what I had. Had. So that was actually a really good box. Unfortunately, I was a little discouraged at the end of it, but it ended up selling for $329. So I was pretty pleased with that. All right. Then I sold um, for $23.99 a hotel spa nines luxury brush nickel hand shower set. So really nice set there. And then next for five bucks, I sold this little toy. Who knew, right? Um, and then for $33.99, do you remember when I put this on? I did a video where I actually put this on. So San Francisco, 
there you go. Good sports fan. Big O necklace. It was awesome. All right. And then for $14.49, I sold this cute, beautiful top. A Karen Scott printed petite boat neck top. Um, and then for $9.99, just a few more items to go, I sold this little girl's dress. Again, another example of how I could sell kids' clothes for much better than I could on Poshmark. And then I have a, for $11.99, this Style & Company ribbed boat neck pullover sweater. Now, if you're un not understanding why I'm calling this a boat neck, see the collar and how wide it is right there. Um, right there when it's real, real wide. Sorry, my little square keeps popping up. When it's real, real wide on the shoulders, that's considered a boat neck, not a crew neck. A crew neck just basically goes right around your neck. Then last but not least, for $24.99, I sold this really cool Eco for Life smart home DIY wireless smartphone app that's basically a security system for your home. So with all of those things, I did really, really well. As you can see, 44 separate items, and it totals out in sales for $1,052. And the amount of work that are put into the 44 items that I sold this week, and this is actually a pretty low sales week for me on Amazon, but I kind of wanted to show you, usually February, March are pretty slow for me. I think everybody's broke after Christmas, um, or they're saving up for vacation. But $1,052.12 is what it comes out to that I earned this week on Amazon. And I didn't have to ship a single one of these because they were all at the Amazon warehouse. And so they all were shipped there. So hopefully it's been fun to see exactly what I sold on Amazon this week in March of 2020. And remember the end, Jesus wins. This is Heather from HookedOnPickin.com. If you'd like to purchase my reseller guide, which is fully laminated three cards with checklists for Goodwill, eBay, and Amazon, please click the link below and you can purchase it now. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips to show you how to walk through the store and what things I look for when walking through a thrift store to buy and resell items on Amazon, eBay, and other platforms. The Amazon reseller checklist has over six major steps and a lot of sub steps to look at in order to find out, is my item going to be perfect for selling and reselling on Amazon? The eBay card also has six major steps to walk through to make sure you're choosing the right item that will be perfect for reselling and making money on eBay. Each card is fully laminated so that it cannot be destroyed easily, and it's perfect for taking with you while you're going on your picking and finding treasure hunting for reselling. I hope this is helpful, and I hope these cards help you to focus your energy to pick the right items to resell online to grow your reseller business. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button and that notification button. I put a video out every single day at noon Central Standard Time. And so I also do two live streams a week on Thursday and Friday. And so check that out. I do have a Facebook page. Go to hookedonpicking.com if you'd love to be a reseller yourself. I'd love to be able to give you a consultation call or check out a bunch of my reseller eBooks and resources that I have there. So hopefully it's been fun. If you'd like to see more of these Amazon sales videos, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks!